This is ringworm, also known as tinea infections. Ringworm is a common skin problem caused by a type of fungus, not worms. In this video, we'll learn about the different types of ringworm, how doctors diagnose it, and how it's treated. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Laura Sung. I'm a board certified dermatologist. Welcome to my channel where I talk about all things related to dermatology and skincare. If you're interested in skin health, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell below. Remember, this video is for learning purposes only and not a replacement for proper medical advice and treatment. So what are the various types of ringworm? Ringworm or tinea infections can be transmitted from person to person, animals to humans, or from objects to humans. The variations of naming are based on where the infection appears on the skin. For instance, tinea capitis affects the scalp, tinea corporis affects the body, and tinea curis is found in the groin, also known as jock itch. And finally, tinea pedis affects the feet, commonly known as athlete's foot. There's more names depending on the body part affected, but they're all basically superficial fungal infections of the skin, hair, or the nails. These infections also look different depending on where they are in the body. For example, on the scalp, you might see redness, scaling, hair loss, and it's more often seen in kids. On the body, arms, or legs, they form these red ring-like plaques with scales. On the feet, you'll notice redness, irritation, and peeling, often between the toes or pustules on the instep of the foot. Nail infections make the nails look discolored and filled with debris. So how do you diagnose tinea infections? Diagnosing tinea infections is crucial because other types of skin conditions can look very similar. Going to see your doctor is important for proper diagnosis. They may perform a very simple, painless test called a fungal scraping, or they might order a fungal culture or even do a skin biopsy if needed. So how do you treat ringworm? Treatment depends on the severity of the infection and the location of the infection. For most mild cases on the body, the feet, or the groin, doctors often prescribe antifungal creams for two to four weeks. Severe or widespread infections might require antifungal pills. And for scalp infections, I usually recommend pills because the creams and shampoos don't reach deep enough into the hair follicles. You can also use antifungal nail polish or pills for treating nail infections, but the evidence shows that success rates are actually pretty low and people don't stick with the nail regimens very well. As an important tip, preventing reinfection and spread is very important. Make sure you disinfect anything in contact with the infected area. For example, wash your socks in hot water, use separate towels, and avoid sharing personal items. If pets are involved, consult a vet to check for fungus on your animals. Well guys, that's it for this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. Feel free to ask any questions in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.